it's Yo. the next day and uh, <laughs> it's very cold today the temperature is definitely dropping a lot quicker than anticipated so a recap yesterday we bought some tiles and mm -hmm. i think i filmed a little bit of that yep i show you how it's gonna look and they arrive here on monday monday and then also recap number two we've done how many well we've done three, three. Three, that one's not actually connected. No. Yeah, at the moment that's not actually doing anything. And that, so now we need to, I'm gonna show you a little bit. You see how it's looking, it's pretty foggy today. I'm gonna move this. Yeah, uh, we need to treat them one more time. Well, these ones are all treated. Oh, uh, is this already done? Yeah. These so are these twicely are treated. This can go up, so we can do eight now. And then I'm going to be treating those ones one more time while they do this. So that's the plan for today. The plan is also to finish one side today and done and dusted. We need to hurry up because it's getting quite cold. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so it's all happening over here. Even my hairstyle's a bit funky this morning. How are we doing, Nick? All right. So we're gonna start doing a mass production cutting and laying of this roof. It's all very nerve wracking. It's nerve wracking? Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous for you, man. You're chilled as a cat. <laughs> all righty, so I'm gonna do some cutting. And if this works, it's all going to be happening, guys. Beautiful. Looking good. So we have just managed to get uh, the first six. Are they six? I think there's more. One, one two, two, three, two. four, five, six, seven. seven. We have now done seven rafters and I'm very, very happy. They're, they're sitting very properly, uh, it's feeling very secure. And so now we have nine more rafters to do on this side. And so after our cup of tea, we're <laughs> gonna head back up there and we're gonna do all nine at the same time. Can we do this one? Yep. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Down
Good morning. Please excuse the mess. We haven't done very much. Well, I haven't. Omar has been doing plenty today and we got our tiles. I'm going to get them delivered by the front door. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Not this, 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 Madeira. So Andrea is moving our telephone cable so the crane can go underneath it. Here comes number two. fun <laughs> so basically we got all the pallets for all of the um, tiles that we need for this area over here and i'll show you how they look can i get one yeah look at that look. that's a lot of tiles <laughs> Yeah, so this is how they look so they're going to be quite um, a bit of dark a bit of pale and a bit of terracotta yeah and then they're all like it just looks very rustic um i'll put like an image of how they normally look they look very nice once they're all up yeah and a lot of people were asking well actually not a lot of people some of you were asking why we didn't use our tiles <laughs> i'll show you why <laughs> So I show you why we can use some sorry dark. So welcome to our toilet. <laughs> this is where we keep this thing here. And this is a lot of the tiles that we took from that area over there. Unfortunately, um, it was caving down, and the weight of the tile was causing a lot of that to go down, and then it would have been like a domino effect. So we took them down and we placed them here. So as you can see, a lot of these styles, I know it's dark, but I think you can definitely have a good look. They are quite damaged. They have seen way better days. Also, what happens to these styles is, that, as you can see, this one is a bit more round. This is a little bit more pointy. And it's it happens throughout a lot of them, okay? And then you've got really broken ones. They're also not the same size because they are handmade they're very 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 old tiles and they have seen better days so we did think about maybe using new leg tiles in the bottom and then because they have this shape as you can see here you have one underneath and then one on top one underneath and then one on top so we were going to use um new ones underneath old ones on top and then an undulating layer underneath it which is this membrane that you can use for your tiles and apparently it's like waterproof and so on we have i have actually read about it and um, because i that's really really the route i want to go to because i do like reusing stuff but then a friend of ours that lives here who did exactly that said please don't do it it's a pain i wouldn't do it again and then i have actually gone to these facebook groups um on this in portugal there's um about two of them and i've heard the same kind of experience so we thought it would just be much better to just get new tiles and make sure that we have a waterproof roof which is the main reason for it that will work for a very very long time decades to come so money in invested now well invested it's gonna last a long time and i think the other method would have in 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 thought would have been lovely you know very uh ethical as well but unfortunately it just doesn't work as well as it sounds so very happy with the new tiles and um yeah that's why we're not reusing we will reuse the tiles 
in other projects like our chicken coop and uh, I'll probably do that method with the undulant whatever for that instead than this which I really need to be done properly so hence the reason why we're not using the existing tiles look at it so full of moss <laughs> yeah very old guys very old Hello guys and good morning, it's the next day after the towels are being here and they arrived yesterday, it's all good, it will arrive amazingly and the driver of the place is a pro at doing this delivery so thank you so much um so yeah we have simon today doing uh, the roof with us so it's amazing they still have the help and he couldn't come today but um he's going to be doing the rafters on top of the container today that side is almost done we have another two to do um, but that's not gonna be a problem and then we're gonna do the extension later but this should be a lot easier because they can stand on the container and it's just a lot safer and a lot more balanced all my is treating more words because we have like 40 rafters and they have to be treated twice and then we need to also treat the rippers which is the tile buttons and I'm gonna be editing and making coffee for everybody <laughs> that's gonna be my job today <laughs> what's happening so we're doing a final coat of preservation for the Barafters, yeah. also known as barats. Yeah, or barotish. I'm gonna do over here, barotish. Yeah. So hopefully they'll last very long. Yeah. And how many have you done so far? Well, we've done we've done three. I'll show you guys something very annoying. Yeah. So a lot of the wood that we were given, come check this out. So a lot of the wood that we ordered is actually no good, and it's been a really big lesson to me because now i'm going to be checking the wood a lot more thoroughly because we ordered a lot of wood 24 smaller bits of barot and 16 long ones mm -hmm. and out of the 24 about 10 of them are no good oh, and no. i thought it was eight no it's about 10. <laughs> basically what we think is that the trees were already dead mm -hmm. when they were cut down and so there was some sort of dry rot or something like that mm -hmm. so if you come and have a look over here mm -hmm. uh this has actually been treated already Mm -hmm. but it's no good i mean like all of these these aren't your normal shakes which you would expect on on seasoned yeah. wood like these like are, that here yeah that's not shakes this is this is something far more serious and the wood is actually very powdery come and have a look over there oh yeah okay like, i'll show you over here so you can tell here this is me trying to tidy it up yeah no but that, are you gonna use that no it's rubbish yeah that means it's been treated twice, but we're going to use it for something else. Can we use it for something else? I don't know. <laughs> to put the streamer down. Sorry, it's a bit cold. And then down yeah, look here. At this. It's, look over here. So over here, you can see it's like... Oh man, that's terrible. It's soft. So to your... To your, I'm going to the fan yeah. <laughs> It was a really rainy day that day when you picked them up. Yeah, totally. So you were just trying to get them and, you know, we didn't think that they would give us stuff like that. Apparently, this is, this is something that you just have to check because they put aside all the wood for me and I should have really checked and now yeah. it's very difficult for me to take this back. Yeah, no, it's been too long. Yeah, it's been like... Two, two three months, months maybe, yeah you yeah. know so they're just gonna be like well it's your real problem yeah yeah no because we were trying to uh season it as well a little bit because in three months you can actually it can actually drive yeah, it can more. make a bit of a difference yeah. definitely but so. uh yeah lesson mm. learned definitely well we need to get more wood that's probably about 80 to 100 euros worth yeah. of wood yeah expensive mistake <sighs> Yes. It's okay, uh, live and learn. <laughs> live and learn. Exactly. This is all right. So this yeah, yeah. is the difference now here. This is good. One. Yeah. So I have one more cut on this leg, and these are ready to go up. Yeah. Look at that one. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
so they just figure it out the roof stuff now like uh, yeah they're doing stuff I'm going to show you a little bit of the land maybe you like that so I just show you some of the trees that we have here already so first tree is a basil or laurel Omar built a rebuild the compost bin now it has a lid <laughs> and if you were asking what have you done with a lot of the wood why didn't you reuse it we did look we did a compost bin that's our compost bin so that's an oak tree and that one there is called a madroña or a strawberry tree um, and they make something called aguardiente or aguardiente in Portuguese and uh, we don't really drink so they're just gonna be lovely plants <laughs> interesting about the madroña tree is that they are really good for fire retardant because we found that the whole of the perimeter especially at the back which is where it's towards the eucalyptus from the neighbor there was a lot of madroñas along and we found that they are very good at holding fire um, which is very interesting. I'm going to put a little text here because there's a little bit more to that. So we do have them all around the land and they're really pretty. Um, we do have a matured madroña tree, like most of them are bushes, so they're quite young. That's another chestnut, a big olive tree. And yeah, chestnut. Big oak tree, this is a teenage oak, <laughs> and more over here. And that's the apple tree I was just telling you about. This is the apple tree, this is the apple tree over here, and this is oak trees over here. I really, this is my favorite part of the land, is where all the trees are. They did like a little like enclosure here with lots of beautiful trees and it's really really nice so I think in the future we're gonna put like seating area maybe like with some shade and it's just really nice you got a really nice view of the house it's so beautiful isn't it Omar, how many have you got? Well, we've got uh, we've got nine over there already, plus two on the roof, so that's eleven, and then probably another three here. This yeah. one doesn't look very good. Either. So that will be eleven down, cack. Yeah. And then we have four more to do. What's that? What's that one over there? Get Is that there. one cack Get as well? Getting there. Getting there. What are you doing with that green stuff on? So this is the first time I've ever seen green silicon and uh, what we're using is because I did a very poor method of attaching this piece of wood to the container and I didn't want stuff to be sticking out because obviously the rafters are going to need to sit on top so I had to countersink and to fill up the countersink sink, just in case if water gets in there or bugs start to live in there I'm filling it up with silicon so with this lovely green stuff. Is it green for a reason or? Just a preferred color. Yeah, I think it's just the color that they <laughs> like. Okay, so it's just fitting all of those here. Doesn't have to be particularly, no one's gonna see this. No one's gonna see it, guys.
So Simon's gone. He has finished for the day and we have a lot done today. Basically, I will say more than half of that side has been done. So all of that has been done and I think we got another three going. So you see one, two, three and then there's another one that's coming on this side and this side over here and then that side. Tomorrow it's gonna rain so we cannot do any more work and also it's like a feriado here. Uh, it's a festive day so no one works tomorrow and then we're probably gonna start then again on Thursday. So yes <laughs> Omar has been treated I think they're almost all done yeah I had to we had some rubbish wood and I had to go and get some new wood and then treat that wood and yeah so the 10 barats that we got that are rotten we're not going to use them for here and I don't know what uh, we're going to use them for yeah. any ideas guys yeah what should we do with it yeah they've been treated so they're chemical so we can't burn it for fire or anything chicken coop yeah will you just maybe save it for the chicken coop that's going to happen Let's see her. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Hasta ya. Hasta ya. Ciao.